Hey guys, I'm here in Central Rock Gym Warwick. We're gonna be talking about how yoga can benefit you when you're climbing. I'm gonna be doing this with Steve, the head route setter from Warwick. How, how often do you do yoga? Uh, about once a week. Oh, that's a lot more than I thought. <laughs> I feel like I, I do a bunch of training and usually feel like stiff, but the yoga tends to help my muscles loosen up and relax. And the breathing has definitely helped me stay relaxed when I'm on hard climbs. And then you look at someone like Ashima climb and you're like, whoa, she's crazy flexible and that's gotta be a plus. We're gonna go do a yoga session. Hey. <laughs> we talk so much about breath. is bringing awareness to the breath. And the more that we can breathe, that can help us really dial it in on the present moment. So the stronger you are in your core and the more aware you are of how your body moves in space, that translates so seamlessly to the rock wall. I get a lot of people who are brand new to yoga and say, I, I need to be flexible to do yoga. I can't do yoga, I'm not flexible. I can't touch my toes, it's not for me. And then when you get them in the room and you meet them where they're at, everybody improves. I uh, I definitely can't touch my toes. <laughs> can you I, touch I can touch my toes. Oh man! Why am I the only one? And no one is too flexible or too old or too whatever to do yoga. The front foot swivels out and the back foot, if you want to draw a line of chop, the heel would line up with the instep of the back foot. And so check that your knee tracks right over the ankle. Lift your shoulders up. Exhale, drop the shoulders down. This is good for our arms. So root down through the mound of the front big toe. So lengthening the inhales, lengthening the exhales. Now really press into my hands. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Deep breath. Draw the knuckles away, draw the shoulders away. You exhale, take it forward, pull. Three pointing down, so extend the arms back up to the sky and cartwheel the arms. Or two if you'd like to be fancy. You can be fancy or not. <laughs> exhale, nice job. Spread the left toes wide. And lift the right foot. Now you might come to the ankle, the calf. You might pick the leg up, come to the inner thigh. Steadying the gaze, that helps steady the mind. Yeah, and so from here, suddenly, your tree, the feet, the hands, slide down the spine. Nice job, guys. And notice if your bum kind of swaying up, can you tuck it back under? Nice. There you go. Draw the shoulders up to the ears and then drop them away. So opening up the side body is really helpful for those elbow curves to the top of thigh, maybe the inner thigh. Good. The top arm reaches forward. Strengths on one side may be different from the strengths on the other side. So deep breath in, bringing more oxygen to the bloodstream. So what we're going to do now is called figure four pose, beginner accessible pose for hip openers. Extend your arms out and bring your feet in. The feet are about hip width apart. Right ankle, bring it on top of the left knee. And you might start just gently pressing the thigh away. And thread the arms through, interlacing the fingers, flattening the sacrum, the whole spine down towards the mat. I feel like my flexibility has improved. My ability to keep calm. Does that mean that your beta has changed on the climb? Dropping the chin in towards the chest. Take hold of your hammies and find a little rocking action. Kind of like balancing at the top. So, hooking the thigh in. Good. With your free hand, good. Tent the fingers at the base of the spine. The twist initiate from the low back, the gaze will come back flat. So this is good too, if you do a lot of driving, if you're sitting at a desk all day. Any differences in the left and right side. So scoot your bum up close, and you can kind of walk your feet in. Give me hamstrings there, Alex. My hamstrings are so freaking tight. I don't know if you guys can see the distance between my, my butt and the wall. I don't know, how are you so close, Steve? I don't get it. And it's also a good pose to do in the winter time when you're walking around like this. So we want to get a little more mobility in the shoulders. So what you're going to do, you're going to start in table pose. And as you inhale, open up the right arm. And as you exhale, you're threading the arm through. So the top of the hand plants down on the mat good. And you're coming down onto the ear. Actively pressing the palms down into the mat, drawing the hips back. Tend up the fingers, you can have the palms face down. Okay, I'm just gonna down into the mat. Down. So again, another good pose you can do pre or post climb. Feel it in your hamstrings, guys? <laughs> yeah. For one, good. And now mindfully tapping these down. 
These guys are doing great, by the way. It takes a lot of courage to show up to a yoga class, especially if you're a new student and you don't know what to expect. So never be shy about letting a teacher know your anxieties, your pain points, if you have any injuries. Most importantly, listen to your body. Never feel like you have to do anything that a teacher is telling you to do. Now you can pedal your feet and start getting more of the calves. Okay guys, this is our final pose. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most difficult pose in yoga. It's a final rest, Shavasana. Thanks so much for the class. Thank you. Thanks for doing the yoga with me, Steve. You're welcome. Steve, how come you got the lion? <laughs> Cause I'm just a beast. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna climb with Steve and I already feel like the benefits of the yoga. I feel like loose, relaxed, open up, and I have a feeling this is gonna help my climbing a lot. There's been a couple times you're bringing your feet up like real high, way earlier than you should. There were lower feet available uh -huh. that I think would have made you feel uh, less scrunched there. You are doing a good job of like, uh, like turning your body. Right there, that's a good example. Yeah, Alex. I think you're doing really well. Like honestly, like having never seen you climb before, I'm really impressed with your ability to, you're not just like, you're being decisive with your footwork. You're looking at footholds and going, okay, that's where I want to put my foot, put it there, and then you look away, which is a mistake you'll see a lot of people do. They'll look at the foothold, they'll start to put their foot towards it, and then they'll look away. The other thing I like is that you're, act you're actively using your thumb. You're pinching pinches. It sounds kind of silly, but you'll see some people, they'll attempt to crimp pinches. And if you think about using your thumbs, you can apply a lot more force and a lot more directions if you put your thumb on. It's gonna let you exert a lot more control. Yeah, getting your feet up high too soon, um, I noticed that as well. I noticed you leading with your feet, which was cool. Okay. Like um, when you were up there and your, your, butt, your hands were over here and you had to go that way, like you led with your foot and then pulled yourself over. Yeah, staying under the holes a little bit more. You're like pulling in a lot. I noticed I get like cramped up. You can extend your arms and like stay underneath the hand holes a okay. little bit more. You know how the, the shock absorber in a car works? Uh, there's an optimal range in the middle. If you compress the shock all the way, it doesn't do anything. And if you extend it all the way, it doesn't do anything either. So there's this mid range that you need to stay in where you still have play in both directions. If you end up super extended, it's gonna make it really hard. And if you end up in this tiny little ball, it's gonna get really hard again. I appreciate it guys, thank you so much. Hey, next week's giveaway, Thursday, June 7th. Come to any CRG gym and sign up for a membership. Show that you've subscribed to the YouTube channel and there will be no activation fee and no reactivation fee if you've been a member in the past. Sweet, are these like custom made yoga mats? Yeah, it's 10 years worth of artwork that I've been um, exploring animal archetypes. I'll definitely have to link it in the description and I'll uh, put a link uh, right here so you guys can uh, check out her yoga mat. Is that all you sell there? You sell other things? I sell art prints, um, and I'm also a muralist for hire. Check out the mural she did on the wall there. Oh. Wait, you did this? I did. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and turn on your notifications. See ya.